and today we're going to be talking about counting your change back. There are three main reasons you always want to count your change back. First is to protect yourself, second is to protect the customer, and third is to assure accuracy in your till. When your customer comes up, you always want to greet the customer and ask them if they found everything okay. Let's try this. Hi, did you find everything okay? I did, thank you. Then you want to begin to ring your items and properly bag them. Would you like your soda in the bag? Yes, yeah, please. Your total is going to be $11.70 out of 20. Notice I told the customer exactly what she gave me. Then you're going to punch in $20, cash, and always lay your money on top of your till before you give them their change back. You do this because a customer may think they gave you a 50, and you can always say, no ma'am, I laid it on top, you gave me a 20. When you get your change, like I said, you want to count it to yourself when you're pulling it out. That's eight dollars and thirty cents, and then you also want to count it back to the customers. Your change is eight dollars and thirty cents. There's thirty. One, two, three, and five is eight, along with their receipt. Then you want to put the money back into your till. Thank you for shopping Grand Supermarket. Come back and see us. I will. Thank you. Thank Have a good you. Day. You too. Now that's the proper way to count back change. And again, you do that for three reasons. To protect yourself, to protect the customer, and to assure your till accuracy. Thank you.